ya! This is Jim Kramer of Mad Money. No, I'm just kidding, folks. This is Jason Burak. If this was Jim Kramer of Mad Money, it would just be, I promise that when I give you a sell recommendation, I can guarantee you the stock's going to go higher. A lot higher. <laughs> Anyways, today, folks, I probably had too much caffeine. But today, I just wanted to talk about some breaking news. Today's Saturday, May 1st, and there was some breaking news today this morning. King World News broke the story. The interviews by King World News are from Ted Butler and from Jim Rickards. In to, I'll just summarize the story for, stories for you. In today's, news, in today's news, the Department of Justice's Antitrust Division is now investigating J.P. Morgan. Surprise, surprise, folks. So, all of us silver bugs and gold bugs out there are really not that paranoid after all. That's right, folks. The Department of Justice's Antitrust Division which handles all the prosecution for monopolies and other, and other anti-competitive uh, marketing practices, has now leapfrogged the Commodity Futures Trading Commission and is now uh, cowboying the investigation. S quarterbacking, excuse me, quarterbacking the investigation ahead of the CFTC. This makes no surprise to most of us who are very knowledgeable of the gold and silver market as the head of the CFTC, Chairman Gary Gensler, is a former Goldman Sachs, and there probably wasn't going to be a lot done in the market. I also want to talk about some bank stocks and about energy in general. Uh, I think the bank stocks now, I think all the easy money has gone, and I think they're not even a trade anymore. I think it's very dangerous to be holding banking stocks at this point. J.P. Morgan, uh, JP Morgan looks like they're going to get charged for something, uh, some sort of manipulation in the silver market. Goldman Sachs is in a lot of trouble with the SEC. I've changed my stance from a prior blog. It, I've reread more uh, information, and I think Goldman Sachs is in a lot of trouble now, and I think there's a lot more civil lawsuits in the pipe that Goldman Sachs is going to have to deal with besides just the SEC one. And I think this is going to affect the entire investment banking industry. There will probably be a lot more regulation coming forth, which means less profits for them and probably less shady derivatives for them to rip other countries and sovereign governments and local and state governments here in the United States off. But... Let's also talk about energy, too. I uh, just wanted to get my two cents in there on the offshore rig spill in the Gulf Coast region. I'm very sorry to the Gulf Coast people who have had to deal with that. It's a very tragedy, too, that 11 people also lost their lives. But we're here to talk about uh, investment purposes and about BP stock and also about Transocean Rig and some of the other companies involved in the industry. Uh, I personally think that BP is still a good long-term play, but you're going to be probably dealing with negative investor sentiment for a while. So if you can't take another 10 or 15 or 20% on the downside as a BP shareholder, you should probably sell now and buy back later. Uh, as far as rig, Transocean, and Diamond Offshore, and Baker Hughes, and some of the other oil, well, and services companies that own a lot of offshore uh, drilling oil rigs, I think they're going to be just great long-term. I think they're great picks and shovels investments. If you look at rigs portfolio, they have over 130 offshore oil rigs. So I think one being shut down is bad publicity for them, and, they might, and they're obviously going to get sued. But um, long-term, they're still very profitable. They're in a business. We need more oil. The United States government still doesn't have any solutions to oil. Uh, we're still not even drilling nearly as much as we should, in my humble opinion. So... I just think that um, oil is still a very good long-term investment, but you got to pick and choose your spots there. I think the, uh, the offshore rig companies like Transocean and Diamond Offshore are good, and uh, FMC Technologies also are good investments. But um, I really think that we need to invest more in oil. If this spill here, which is supposedly worse than the Exxon Valdez, if this causes uh, the United States government to stop offshore oil drilling here in the United States for a year or two, we are almost definitely looking at $150 to $200 a barrel oil in the very near future. Now, I'm not going to say six months. I'm not going to say a year or two. But I think it would be an easy bet to bet on that happening in the next five years. So I think I, it would still be smart to be long oil, like maybe a company like Petrobras, perhaps, because they're still finding a lot more oil offshore in Brazil. But do your own research, obviously. I'm just giving my opinion on stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed my little Kramer impression. <laughs> yeah, I've had too much caffeine tonight. But, um, everyone have a nice weekend, and I'll see you next week.